We know we have not done enough to address the actions of some members of the 2018 national junior team or to end the culture of toxic behavior within our game, reads Hockey Canada's open letter. For that, we unreservedly apologize. Hockey Canada promises to reopen the third-party investigation into what happened. This time, players who don't participate will be banned from national programs and events. It will also require mandatory sexual violence and consent training and promises a new independent and confidential complaint process. It's like, well, you finally got hit in your wallets and, and now you're, you're saying you're going to do something. For many, the letter is lacking. It only came out after big sponsors such as Tim Hortons and Canadian Tire distanced themselves. We saw sponsors walking away um, from the World Juniors, which is probably one of their most lucrative um, tournaments that they run in, in terms of funding. So I really think it had a huge role. Perhaps they're motivated by the wrong things, but I think it's the right thing to do. I think that the engagements that were taken by the organization are a good step in the right direction. The sport minister says she wants Hockey Canada to sign up with the new Sport Integrity Commissioner and more training to change the culture, something many say isn't easy. To have this training only available to higher level players isn't going to shift a culture. It really becomes, you know, like a band-aid or we'll run our players through this training, so now we're good. Where they're being praised at the national and international level for violence, things get mixed up and the culture becomes very complicated and very intertwined with that violence. Hockey Canada did not respond to a request from Global News. It also has not committed to making the results of the investigation public or turn them over to the government. Abigail Beeman, Global News, Ottawa.